Happy Sunday, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescaserates.com, and that is uh, 2020 Panini Immaculate Baseball. Half case break number seven. Half case from a fresh case. There it is. There you go, Immaculate Baseball right there, 2020. Now let's pop this case open. Actually, let's do the, let's do the randomizer first. It is a random team break. We'll do that during your trade window. All right, very big thanks to this group right here for getting in on the action. And congrats again to the people who won those spots in that museum collection mini break, mini box break. There's all 30 teams right there, and let's do it. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. Five and a five, 10 times. Hard 10 for names and teams. One, two, And I said 10, right? Yep, hard 10. 10th and final time. PJ down to Mark. Five and a five, 10 times for the teams. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And 10th and final time. After 10, we got the Rocks down to the Reds. All right, so PJ with the Rockies, Daniel with the Blue Jays, Robert with the Royals and the Tigers, Matthew with the Cardinals, Nancy with the Red Sox, Matt with the Brew Crew, Bill with the Giants, Simon with the Rays and the Phillies. Matthew with the Rangers, Harry with the Mariners and the Astros, Nancy with the Twins, William with the Cubs, TJ with the Diamondbacks, Brett with the A's, PJ with the Rock, uh, with the White Sox, that is, Patrick with the Indians, Tyler with the Mets, Robert with the Pirates, Daniel with the Nationals, Mark with the Padres, Patrick with the Braves, Matthew got my Dodgers, Megan with the Yankees, Robert with the Marlins, PJ with the Angels, Nancy with the O's, and Mark with the Red Legs. All right, let's sort by column B. And I'm, I'm gonna flip back to this in just a second. But now we can, we can pop open that case and see which side we're gonna do. Then we'll pause the video and extend that trade window a little bit. And then we'll, then we'll see what happens. Let's see if there's any trades. All right, so there's four on the left and right side. So I'm gonna select one die out of here. I like that one. And we'll go one, two, three for the left side and four, five, six for the right side. And it's three, one, two, three. So this side we will save, so this is break seven, we'll save for break eight. So I'm sure I'm sure we'll be able to run this back tonight, but we'll mark that RT8 so we know it's from the same case. All right, let's flip back to the screen again. We're gonna pause the video when we come back. We're gonna see if there's any trades, and then the break. So be right back. All right, welcome back, folks. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done here on the 11th on a Sunday. Thanks for spending a bit of your Sunday with us. I appreciate that. There's the list right there. Here are the four boxes we're gonna do. Thanks everyone for getting in, good luck. Immaculate Baseball, some really nice stuff here.
and use this blank card right here to slow play some of the hits a little bit. All right, 94 out of 99, Yoan Mankata leads things off. Piece of his jersey going to PJ and the White Sox. We got 68 out of 99, Chris Paddock. Piece of his jersey. Correct. Uh, no, you're right, Bruce. So that's why, yeah, it's not fully licensed. I think it's licensed by the MLBPA, but not technically by Major League Baseball, so that's why they can't use their team names. And you're, yeah, you're not going to see like MLB logo, logos or anything like that. All right, so it's, you got the MLB PA logo down there. But you will see Majestic logos, Rawlings, all the, all the other manufacturers you'll see. Chris Paddock Relic will go to Mark. It's 5 out of 10, Eloy Jimenez. Another one for the White Sox. That'll be for PJ. I think the advantage of that, though, without the license, the trade-off, is, yeah, you don't get the logos or anything like that, but a lot of times Panini baseball product can be a lot more generous with the type of relics that you'll see. So like bat barrels, cleats, bat knobs, and stuff like that are a little more plentiful in the higher end sets, like Immaculate, NT, and especially Flawless. Two-color patch and autograph, Edwin Rios, 17 out of 25, debut jumbo. Slugger for the Dodgers had a shoulder issue that knocked him out for the season, which was unfortunate. I thought he was going to be a big name this year, but something to hold on to. Dodgers, Matthew, Matthew F. with that. We got a nice on-card auto, Pete Alonzo, 80 out of 99. And that'll be for Tyler and the uh, Metropolitans. Ooh, and there's the Majestic logos I was talking about. That's a one-of-one one Majestic patch and autograph, Donnie Walton. That's for Harry and the Seattle Mariners. Nice one. And out of five to un under, of course, get the world-famous train whistle, Harry. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo-hoo! The last one here, jersey and auto on a piece of his lumber. That's Jalen Davis. Talking about his first infield hit. An infield hit in his first at-bat. 12 out of 49. And that's for Bill Norton and the San Francisco Baseball Giants. Second box, good luck. They're uh, interviewing Jack Leiter, who's number two overall pick. We'll see him in some Bowman stuff later this year. Blockchain card on the bottom. That blockchain card is Pete Alonzo. Platinum, that might be a one of one. Should we take a look? I don't want to short Tyler a train whistle. Gotta look. Have to look. Have to look. Let's go to cardboardconnect.com. Let's search the checklist here. Let's go down to the 
blockchain section here. Do they not have a blockchain? No, they might not have a blockchain. A full blockchain list, unfortunately. But I'll say it's a one of one, Tyler. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Austin Meadows, 11 out of 49, piece of his jersey for the Rays. It's going to be for Simon. Jalen Davis again for the for my rivals, the Giants, 46 out of 49. It's for Bill for the Giants. We have seven out of 25. That's Alan Trammell. Piece of his lumber. Going to Robert and the Tigers. Game used material. It's pretty sweet. Jersey and autograph, Matt Tice. Eight out of 49. Debut moment, double in his first at bat back in July 2019. PJ with the Angels. Piece of the lumber and the autograph, five out of five, Billy Williams. Clutch relic and gold ink auto for the old cub, William Rosenthal with the Cubbies. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Nice patch, nice autograph. Patrick Sandoval, 13 out of 48. PJ with the Angels. And the last one here is uh, Domingo Leva, a single in his first at bat for the, I think he's a diamond bat, yeah. 74 out of 99, TJ with the Snakes. All right, halfway through this half case break. Who we got here? MLB draft going on in the background. Are we in the second round already? Who did my Who did my Dodgers take? Oh no, we're still in the first round. Sorry. What am I saying here? Dodgers won't be picking for a while. They'll be in towards the end. Oh, yeah. I was just reminded of this news. How crazy is the Ronald Acuna news? Poor Ronald Acuna Jr. did his ACL out for the rest of the season. That's terrible. One of the young rising stars. There's AJ Puck in the league. Premium patch autographs green for the A's. And that'll be for Brett. All right, Legends, Harold Baines, piece of his lumber, 25 out of 49.
That's for PJ and the White Sox, the Southsiders. Ooh, nice big patch here. Jersey number, 4 out of 10, Isan Diaz. Robert and the Marlins. Last spot mojo strikes again. Got Freddie Freeman. 11 out of 49. Piece of his jersey. And that's going to be for Patrick and the Braves. There's Logan Webb, two-color jersey, triple relic, an autograph, 16 out of 25, for Bill and the San Francisco Baseball Giants. Jersey and autograph, Bo Bichette. 17 out of 25. Nice gold ink autograph. Rookie gold ink autograph. Piece of his jersey up there too. Daniel Hayes with the Blue Jays. Hayes and the Jays. Clearly. Clutch. Clearly, jersey, an autograph, Nick Solak. It's a cool look there. Texas, Matthew with the Rangers. And a button. Two out of eight. Rookie, button, and autograph. That's pretty cool. Right on the button for the Indians, Patrick Sullivan. Cleveland, this is for you. Nice, that's pretty cool. Is there like a little, almost seems like there's like a little bump right here. Kind of see that? Right where, right where my finger's pointing? I don't know if that's because of the back of the button pushing against the card, but just some, something to be aware of. Still nice. Thomas, you think there'll be, you think uh, you will break prison for a online basketball before the night ends considering there's four spots left? Yes. Fourth and final box, second half of the case is already in the store on jazbeescasebreaks.com. So go and check that out. 10 out of 25, that's Clayton Kershaw. I think landed on the IL with a bit of uh, left forearm tightness, which is always scary, but I think they did an MRI. Should be okay. Matthew has my Dodgers. Next up is Pete Alonzo, 27 out of 49, dual relic for Tyler and the Mets. More for Tyler and the Mets, this time with an autograph, Andres Jimenez, 20 out of 25. I think on the, it's kind of hard to see the blue against the blue, but it says Winter Collection. Winter Collection, Triple Relic, and Auto. We got Miguel Tejada, 15 out of 25. Really thick cardstock there. Miguel Tejada for Brett and the A's.
Yeah, there were some pretty great shortstops in the 2000s there. All right, a couple more to go. Jersey and autograph, Brock Burke, 26 out of 49. Monochrome jersey and autograph. I like the silver ink on the uh, eye black. And that is for Matthew F. and the Texas Rangers. And the last one is going to be jersey and autograph. Debut moment as Adrian Morajon. Jersey and autograph, 13 out of 49. Autograph right on a bit of leather there. Going to Mark and the Friars. And that's that. Thanks, everybody. Second half of this Immaculate case is in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.